And I pray that the spirit of peace and determination will take a hold of it, and that we will hasten to become united, that the blessings of this land might be, that's been pronounced upon this land, might be realized in the lives of this people. can be if we just put our shoulders to the wheel. Now may God bless you. I humbly pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Short time after I was called into the this works, Brother Barlow will come to me in the field and says, Do you believe that you was called by the Spirit of Revelation? I said, yes, Brother Barlow, I believe I was called by the Spirit of Revelation. And I'm trying to get it confirmed. But he says, go home and open your Doctrine and Covenants and read. And that's all he said. I stuck my fork in a pile of hay and asked the boys to watch the team. And I walked up to the house and opened the Doctrine and Covenants. And this is what I read. Listen to the voice of Jesus Christ, your Redeemer, who will gather his people even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings. Behold, verily, verily, I say unto you that at this time your sins are forgiven you. Therefore ye receive these things. Verily, I say unto you that ye are chosen out of the world to declare my gospel with the sound of rejoicing as with the voice of trump of a trump lift up your hearts and be glad for I am in your midst and I am your advocate with the father and it is his good will to give you the kingdom and as it is written Whatsoever ye shall ask in faith, being united in prayer according to my command, ye shall receive. And ye are called to bring to pass the gathering of mine elect. For mine elect hear my voice, and harden not their hearts. Wherefore, the decree hath gone forth from the Father that they shall be gathered in unto one place upon the face of this land to prepare their hearts and be prepared in all things against the day when tribulation and desolation are sent forth upon the wicked. And I will reveal myself from heaven with power and great glory. I've devoted my work to this, to the building up and establishment of the kingdom of God. I've dedicated my life and my labors to this work. And as long as the Lord will inspire me as he has done in the past to go and come, I'm going and coming. As long as he'll provide for my way of going and my way of coming, I'm going to go and come. And I'm not going to ask anybody whether I want, whether I should go or whether I should come or not. This is not my work. It's the work of God. He's preparing a people. He's trying to prepare people that he can work with. If he can put his finger on, he can say, come, let's go, and we're ready to go. What person is there here in the room today that has any right to allow the action of another person to disrupt their feelings? The Lord's great promise unto Enoch was that his that in the latter days he and his city would come back and take its place in the earth. And he says, I'll be in the midst. 
And there will be a city built called the New Jerusalem. He said, we'll fall upon their necks and they'll fall upon ours. Can you do it? And have what the, the action of your neighbor or your sister or your brother raw your feelings and bring about disorder and disruption of things in the home or in the in your surroundings? Remember, the earth's going to be cleansed from unrighteousness. How many of us are going to stand? We've got work to do. When the Lord said to love your neighbor as yourself, he said a mouthful. But yet, after you have mastered it, it's just as easy to keep as it is to not keep it. And I pray that the spirit of peace and determination will take a hold of it, and that we will hasten to become united, that the blessings of this land might be, that's been pronounced upon this land, might be realized in the lives of this people can be if we just put our shoulders to the wheel. Now may God bless you. I humbly pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.